many I talked to were very aware of what was happening just two hours away at their sister school. It's a different kind of feeling knowing it happened at UNC Charlotte before and more violence again today, especially for one student whose twin sister could have been hurt. It's overcast the first week of school at UNC Charlotte, but there's a different cloud that hangs over campus. Made me very nervous. Officials say a man at UNC Chapel Hill killed a faculty member, leading to a nearly four hour campus lockdown Monday. Just hours away at UNC Charlotte. I don't even know what I would do if I lost my sister. Text messages flooded screens. Are you OK? What's happening? Keep us updated. And students like Michaela Pettis stopped everything to make sure her twin, a student at Chapel Hill, was OK. When it happens to your sister and your sister's school and people that are like extremely close to you, it makes me it makes me just another level of scared. For UNC Charlotte, the violence is a reminder of the heartbreaking shooting that happened in April of 2019. Earlier this year, the school built this memorial for Reed Parlier and Riley Howell, who died when a former student opened fire inside of a classroom. And that was only just a couple years ago. So to think that that could happen now is just like crazy to me. Monday, students stick to schedule and classes carry on while many minds and hearts remain on a different campus. I was talking to my dad about it this morning and he said just to be a little bit more safer around campus today. What makes it any different? Like I could be the next one of my friends here. It's very sad. The chancellor of UNC Charlotte, Sharon Gaber, sent a message to students today reminding them of various counseling services on campus and also saying, just as others stood with us, we now stand with Chapel Hill. In the studio, I'm Nikki Hauser, WBTV, on your side.